are all sitting here shooting the shit. Yo, what's up, man? I'm your host, DJ Deuce. We're here in another episode of Shooting the Shit. I'm here with my co-host, Carlos. What's up, Silos? I don't talk to you. Don't talk to you? Yeah, no. We've been dealing with this internet stress. He's been dealing with the internet stress. Bam. What you saying over there? I like the two, brother. Chilling, chilling. Oh, yes. Shoot the shit, kid. Got the two. Getting ready for winter? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why don't you jump into something real quick here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, Carl's fucking around like usual. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> what about what did, did you guys hear anything about Takashi Six Nine with his thirteen million dollar? What is it? Fucking contract for two albums, one in English and one in Spanish. Damn, that's, that's a good deal, kid. But, okay, kid, no shit. But like, how does someone get a deal in from jail, snitching oh. the whole world? How do you do that? How do you do that? Hmm. But are you upset the fact that he's snitching and he got the deal, or he got the deal from jail? Which one is your more is your issue? I'm I'm not upset at neither. My big issue is: Do you even think he could generate thirteen million dollars back in sales after doing what he did? With this new age of people listening to hip hop, he could pull it off. Really? Yeah. Because right now, <laughs> what is know, he gonna rap? About? The the law it's not it's not even about it's the fans. Think about the fans. The loyalty is not there. You know what I mean? The commitment to the hip hop is not there. You understand what I'm saying? Like a lot of people say if Pac and Big was alive, a lot of these rappers wouldn't be doing what they're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. But you know how does you 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 he's proceeded to be a gangster rap, even though he looks like a troll. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you how do you become a, a so called gangster rapper? What the fuck is he gonna rap about? Is what I'm saying. What, what, they they what all portray, but if you think about the all portraying, they they they're gangster rappers. You get I what know, I'm saying? until you get busted or you ain't or you know what I mean. But I mean, you don't really you come back from that, so no. Well, John Wu died for well, a lot less. <laughs> ja, actually, ja, only John Wu died for that. much less. Ja Wu died because he couldn't put nothing out. That was his problem. You know what I mean? He was he was locked down. By the government, you can't make any more music until we finish. Doing music. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That was his problem. If he could have made music, he would have made music. If he was smart, he would have changed his fucking name like Prince and started making music. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, well, John, but, could, well, <laughs> but, but I just wait, find wait. I just find thirteen million dollars, huge contract. One's in Spanish, and one's in English. Right. I'm just super curious on what the hell is he gonna rap about? What what? What's the deal? What is he? What is he gonna say? Like, I believe it or not, I am gonna listen because I am pretty goddamn curious. Mm. You know what I mean? Believe it or not, I won't. You're gonna love the Spanish version of yeah, shit. but but you but you're not you're not his fans. You're not the young people these days. The young people is they don't care about this. They don't care about that. If they if they let little uh, uh, what's his name there the old time road dude come out and be a mega hit star. <laughs> you didn't hear you know he, I mean? didn't, he didn't come out. He didn't come out as a gangster rapper, and then this was his next track. Yeah, but he came out as a rapper, blew up. He, no, he, he, he came out as a rapper, blew up. Tell everybody he was out, and yeah, you know they accepted him like that. So they looking at because you didn't assume that he was already out of the club or, or he was he was gay already. You didn't assume that. I, me myself, no, because I, like I said, I never followed him into that song, so I didn't know who well, the fuck he was. First, right? first, time, first glance, and not to be a fucking jerk off, but I mean, it looked like it. I was like, mm-hmm. and then he comes out of the closet like it's a big fucking deal. But I mean, good for him. Multi million well, dollar guy came out of the closet. Best time to come out. Well, you know what I mean? A lot, a lot, a lot of well, dudes went. A lot of Jews went to jail, came home, and made a lot of money. You know what I mean? Um, well, see, there you go. Now you say it's from snitching. Now yes. you're bringing up the snitching situation. So let me ask you a question: You multi, you, you no, you not a multi platinum artist. You a gold artist, or you just got your career off the ground making your music, and okay. you turn around and get caught up with some stuff. Now, are you going to sit in jail? Are you going to sit in jail for other people's bullshit? Because now, ask yourself: Did he do anything? I don't think to he be did. To, to, to be sitting in rotting in a jail for twenty years right now. And everybody else who's doing the bullshit, running around screaming his name, getting paid, getting money, okay, okay, and okay. fucking I, his I bitch behind you. his back or whatever, so so so, right? You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. to be honest with you, only an idiot to do that. You get what I'm saying? If you did the crime, okay. do the time. I get it. You, you see what I'm saying? But you know, but pursued his character was pursued. 
to be a gangster rapper, regardless if he did things or didn't do things. Hmm. Who's your, hmm. like, it's, we always go back to this. It's like it's like if you had your favorite fucking superhero pursuing to be something, and then he's like, "Ah, I'm not this." By the way, you're probably going to like that character anymore because that's what he technically is as a character. No, yeah, he was a character from 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 the beginning. You know yeah, what I mean? A fucking cartoon fucking character. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know what I mean? So people followed him. He was outrageous. He's yelling. He's not, not gonna... First of all, is he not going to get shot anyways? Well, but this is my point. If it was... If it was, was people going to save him. If it was back in the day, he would have probably got... <laughs> if it was back in the day, he probably would have got shot. You got what I'm saying? But with these new cats, who knows? You, you got what I'm saying? You keep pushing the buttons, you're going to catch you, it. You're, you're, you're in New York. You're, you come from New York. Being mm-hmm. in that environment... Uh, you know, people like Fat Joe at the time and 50 Cent had his back and they bigged him up. Do you think that he could even come back home? Him come back home? Yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dude, it, that, that's, just, that's just a... I, I honestly... Or does he have to go to San Francisco? He, he, he might, like, like, like I said, it's, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a new age. It's a new age of people. Because my, my age of people, you know, he did that. As soon as you get home, somebody's going to check him. They're gonna check him. They're gonna check him real quick. You That's get what I'm saying? Point. Now, when he get home, the people that he's got his crew, his people, whatever, the young mm-hmm. kids, they're not. They're not gonna check him. You understand? They're not gonna check him. They're gonna run their mouth. Everybody run their mouth on the internet. Old cats are still gonna be lingering. Mm-hmm. Because you notice know only certain old cats fucked with him. Most old cats don't even don't even acknowledge the motherfucker. You yeah, understand nice. what I'm saying? Absolutely fucking forgotten. But I mean. I don't have anything in my headphones. My headphones disappeared. Or is it you? Oh, no, you good. Oh, there you go. You're good. You're good. Um, yeah. so no, so I so my, my question is, do you think that he you think he's gonna generate his money back? I think he, I think he won't get that money back. Yeah, it, 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 I, I look at it as pop, pop. if he does he'll be gone in a week. What do you mean he'll be gone? Like dead gone or if people are really well, getting in shit for this? Let, let, let's 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 use let's you know his manager already like you know, there's an audio of his manager saying that he wants to shoot his baby mom on his shoulder, right? With an audio. Mm, right. He's but, not very liked, bro. But let, let, let's get let, let, let's compare the two. Be, let's compare the two because there's still a big difference between Tupac and Takashi Six Nine. Okay, oh, think God, about it. Like, I uh, no, 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 no. But see, right, here's, the you. here's, the here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Your vision of Pac for a second is, oh yeah, thug. Ask yourself this: When Tupac was in jail, what was he in jail for? For rape. Who, who was All right then. Guy? So he was in jail. He, he he was in jail for rape. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, Should man came and signed him for two million fucking dollars and got him out of jail, and he blew the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? So what's the no, 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 you, you know what I mean? So, yo, like, but no, as Joe as Joe said, Tupac persona, his character portrayed to be this, and then he got locked up for that. So now. If the people seen that and he came out and still made it made a career, okay, okay. Said, why can't he do it? You get you, you understand yeah, the similarities? Totally what I'm trying to say, totally I'm right. saying there's two different things. There's two different levels of different type of artists. You get what I'm saying? Because now me myself, I don't you know from the type of dude he is, Tupac being, I don't see it personally. Him doing, you know what I mean? What he was accused mm-hmm. of. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now and now with six nine, you got this dude going to jail, but nobody know why. He was locked up. You but get what I'm saying? Kid, you as, know, a kid, as a kid, with listen to Tupac's music, I wasn't really in like you know current Mr. Current Affairs with the news, for instance. Mm. So for me to find out that he got in for rape charges, I found out years later. Takashi Six Nine, dude, I could turn on my phone and it will mm. pop up by accident in the news feed of some sort. But, mm. Hold on, get back to your point. Tupac supposedly went in for rape. This was the allegations. True. Death row. Bail him out, two million dollars thing. Mm-hmm. There's one thing for being in for an act that you committed and taking your punishment for it, and then there's okay. another act, especially if it is uh, if it is the way it is. If you write it on everybody, who the okay? Fuck so so you? now I, so ask yourself this: you sit there saying, now you said now you you brought me back to my point. What was Takashi locked up for? What did he do? You understand what I'm saying? He got into what? a big fight. <clears throat> uh huh. From what I know, he got into some big fight mm-hmm. and uh, got busted for a whole bunch of other things, racketeering. Yeah, he's a part of the wrong crew, pretty much. Uh, he, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, 
I'm other... a multi-million dollar. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a multi-million dollar rapper. I'm on yeah. every fucking news feed everywhere around the world, and I'm going to be going out racketeering. I'm going to be showing my faces doing this dirt. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why they snatched him up, the only reason why they snatched him up is because he was in the front line of all the motherfuckers doing their dirt. You know what I'm dumb, saying? Don't you, think, you don't think he's dumb enough to be racketeering and being a stupid idiot? No. The dude he, had 6 9 all over his body. Yeah, he, but, they're, they're, but there's he's my point. Retarded, no? he's, he's, got like, rainbow, he's got rainbow hair. What's going to make him run up in a place and do some racketeering and all some bullshit and some shooting and blah, blah, blah? Dude, it's like wearing a jerry curl. You can follow the drip everywhere you go. You get what I'm saying? Right, but I actually think he's dumb enough to do it, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you and I know. He's, but him, he's, yeah. Dude, they, they, somebody kidnapped him. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody ran up on him and kidnapped him, took him to his house, and stole his jewelry. Okay? He ain't gangster, bro. He ain't he ain't got oh, it in there. Well, you you know, know what I'm saying? I don't. Don't know that. You know I what I mean? Know that. But he's you representing a, a red color. Yeah, but it's there's a lot of motherfuckers out there representing that red. The king of New York. Be. Yeah, you, know, you, you motherfuckers let him be the king in New York, by the way. You let a shrimp, troll-looking, rainbow the hair color. New York. How do you feel we, about it? Fuck, we, geez, fuck, like, fuck, like, fuck, like I said. Fuck anybody else. Fuck we, bamboo. <laughs> we, we didn't let him do nothing. Fuck These the young world. kids. Them young kids let him That's do that. You know what I'm saying? Them young kids did it. And then you know? the motherfucker comes out with fucking rainbow hair. Can you just tell me that you're gay? No. With um, little Nas X. With little Nas X, whatever. They're probably in oh, that's the name. You know his damn name, bro. I never knew his but, name until. You moved the way all the way to be little Nas X. My opinion is if if he if he claims to be what he was and he did what he said, if he did what they said he was gonna do. Then he would accept the he would accept the time. You get what I'm saying? There's, I don't think so. Whatever. That that so um, hold on, hold on. So that, that, song, saying, that song, that song, that song, hot hot uh, hot niggas from um, Bobby Smurda. You, you, you heard of Bobby Smurda, right? Yes. Bobby Smurda locked up for ten years, bro. That's right. Didn't did, didn't didn't rap. Held it down. You get what I'm saying? Him and all his man, same situation. Held it down. You know why? Because mm -hmm. Bobby real about it. Bobby was whatever. No, no, I'm gonna do my time. It's all good. We ain't sweating it. You know what I'm saying? But if this man is sitting there and is if he's gangster, he's gonna hold it down and do his time. And if you did with the crime, then you should do you should you gonna hold it down for yourself and do your okay. shit. But if you didn't do it, you're not gonna sit there and spend all this time in jail for the rest of these motherfuckers doing that. So bullshit. Are you curious on what kind of tracks you're gonna come up with? A little bit like I took it in the ass and dropped the soap. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he, maybe he's gonna have a high note now. Who knows? You know, fuck, he's going to turn into a so uh, uh, R and B singer. Yeah, not a bad, a Latin R and B singer, by the way. The bottom line is this: <laughs> he's the bottom line Mexican. Is, the bottom line is this: he's marketable. Somebody figured that out, and they're gonna make yeah. money, on it. and that's what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? I just want to, yeah. But the thing is, like, um. So, so you think he's gonna make his money back? I'm curious on the garbage he's gonna come out with because I just want to know what. Because if he comes back going, brah, 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 I'm gonna die laughing, well, bro. I mean, what, what's the difference of the what's the difference of the crap that's out now? Okay, but the thing is, we know that he ain't. He, okay, we always knew, but now we know this is facts. Mm -hmm. This is facts. You don't need to know something, but there's you, you just you don't have any hard evidence. This is hard evidence. He's not a brah, brah type of guy. That's what I'm saying. It's this hard evidence that, that he's not. So what well, like you said, what is, what is he gonna make? What is he gonna make? He's only yeah. gonna talk about what he know. You get what I'm saying? Now he's not surrounded by the motherfuckers that's doing that talk, shit that he's talking about. Whole album about snitching? Do you think he's gonna go on tour? Maybe maybe he's gonna talk about love because his baby mama still love him, right? So right, is he going on uh, tour? His baby mama still love him. Mm -hmm. I don't Do you think, think so. he'll sell out an arena? You never know, man. Know. You know. You never yeah. know. You never know. We're just gonna have to see and yeah. wait. We're gonna have to wait and see. Move it. I, I hate this guy. I don't even want to take another breath. I wanna I wanna piss Carl's off. So Takashi. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so now you over in Nova Scotia. What's the talk for your election scenario, bro? Who's what's the hot item? You're you're you because you're, you're, you're trying to tell me Justin Trudeau. He let well, I, it, I it, know, from man. from an outsider looking in, from that from an outsider looking in and Seeing that he was already here and doing his thing, you know, 
me, I don't see a problem with him. You guys, like I said, it's affecting you guys differently than me. So I, I, you know, I'm when good. it comes to the when, when it comes to the conservative, this dude, when he talks, I just don't believe him. You know what I mean? And the other dude with uh sing, yeah, sing, yeah. sing. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um he's talking solutions to problems, which is great. You get what I'm saying? But the problem is, yeah, he's not he don't have enough people to back him up on the problem to the solutions. So he's never going to make that. You know what I mean? He's not going to do it. So, and everybody else... Uh, we should all go you know, green. I want more green in my pocket. You want more green in your... Okay, That's so so what about the back end? I so want $100 get, well, that, a month you, extra in my pocket. You know who we should vote for? Who? Party Karakwa. No, they'll just separate right away as soon as they got power. <laughs> they take the money and run. They'll be like, Who yo, for them? no, because they have cheap beer, and I don't mind going over the border right now. So let's let's keep them around still, you know. Can't get rid of them. But me, Ben, me and you talked about this. Mm-hmm. I think that the government politics in general is something that hasn't evolved. Years it hasn't evolved. No. Both the party, party does this. Mm-hmm. Regardless, fuck, we he can say one thing and do another. That's just facts. Mm-hmm. How come our fucking system with technology and let's see how we're doing a fucking podcast even with carlos setting it up and you being in, in, in Nova Sco- the computer Nova Scotia. anyways that is the mac won't connect to the proper things okay so like i'm saying we have technology anyways but how come we cannot have uh, uh our social insurance number and our taxes and this and that and have brackets and where our fucking money wants to go you know there's certain things that are probably more more like concerning to carlos than it is to me you know what I mean? And same with you, right? Right? Yeah. So, like, he could be like, yo, listen, you know, I, I have two kids in school. Maybe fucking, you know, the uh, health care means a little more to him than me. Whatever the case may be. There should be something across the board, a certain percentage that goes across the board that know what everybody gets a little something. But then mm-hmm. you as an individual gets to fucking click on a fucking button and go, you know what? My money goes to these three, four, five things. My taxes. Because it means a lot to me. Because right now they're going to be like, let's fix the bus scenario or, you know, the transit way. And I'm going... I don't fucking use that. Why is it right. going there? I don't use it. But I'd rather take a bit of my money that I don't need to use that to go towards something else. Is that, that's all I'm saying. We have the, L- the LRT here. Have you heard about this disaster that's here? The train system? The new train system? Right, right, right. Doors won't open. Did you hear about this? Yep. Yeah, go, the door go. won't open. It's something, it somehow filled again uh, yesterday. Really? Something that's supposed to cost about $2 billion is costing right now, right now, as, as to date, is at $4.66 billion fucking dollars. Mm. A li- I'm just a little bit over budget. A little, a little bit. But Way you know too what? much over budget. But you know, well, let's cut, let's, <laughs> let's cut, let's cut education a little bit because, you know, people have, might have to take the fucking train from east to west here. You know, eat a dick. You know what I mean? What, what, I don't know. Do you, do you think, do you, Carlos? Do you think there's any type of new system that should be in place? Do you have any ideas or? Number one, the system should already been installed a long time ago. If Toronto, Montreal. Oh, you're talking about the LTR, the LTR. The yeah, this should, should have yeah. already been existed, and it shouldn't be an issue now. Regardless of that, all the politicians basically are fat in the pockets of their friends. For sure. That's it. I'm in. I, uh, I need an electrician. Bam's coming in. I need a painter. Carlos is showing up. But don't worry about it, dude. You guys can take your time and fuck it up a few times. I got you guys taken care take of. Take your time. You know, take your time. I don't, I, I don't like the colors of those light switches anymore. Let's replace the whole entire it's exactly. It's exactly it, man. Oh, you know what? That toilet started flushing a little bit to the left. I want it going to the right like it's supposed to be. We're not in China here. Let's switch all of them. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it's like, man. It's exactly when it's like. And it doesn't matter. It's the same, it's the same shit up in the States. Whoever donates to the campaign gets a bigger pocket. And what about you? I agree are you with you. Are you still I, following I, the, uh, the, the American politics at all? Or? Oh, definitely. I'm definitely following my boy Trump. So what's the Ukraine situation? What do you do, well, what do, you do so wrong over there? <laughs> well, supposedly, for the simple fact that he even talked to him about anybody that's in the electoral process, yeah, it's, it's a no no, right? So he's wrong on that. I, I, I'm with them on that 100%. He's wrong on that, but right now they're giving him flack about this Syria situation. That's what they're giving him flack about, you know, because he wants to pull all the troops out of Syria. You oh, get what yes, I'm I saying? you know, and everybody's like, no, leave him there because 
the, the ISIS guys are going to get away. They're going to come and bomb us. And they're going to do this and do that, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, wait a minute. Really? Why are we over there? Well, like the question is, why are we over there? First of all, we 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 shouldn't even be over there. First of all, you know, That's he's pulling them out. Mm -hmm. So he's pulling the troops out, saying we're not, we're not, we don't, we don't have nothing to do with this anymore. We defeated ISIS. We're leaving. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Now they yep. can fight over Syria all they fucking want. This is it's okay. a, a whole bunch of sand. Fight over it all they fucking want. That's what he said. <laughs> Literally, there's a whole bunch of sand they're fighting for. Fight for it. Have it. Do what you want. We ain't got nothing to do with it. And everybody's mad saying we should still be there. You get what I'm saying? And I don't yeah. see the reason. He's right. Get the fuck out of there. It's none of our business. Be there. It's pissing, you think it's pissing people off that he actually is doing something right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, because somebody, somebody's not getting reelected. Because somebody's not making money. You know I what I mean? Somebody's, somebody's, not, somebody's, not, somebody's not making money. money. He's finding his own pockets. Who? Trump. Finding his own pocket by pulling the troops out. He's not spending any money on military weapons. He's not spending any money on guns. He's not spending any money on tanks. So somebody's making money. money. Huh? I'm saying personally, not country-wise. Personally, don't forget the developments he still owes, regardless yeah. if he runs the which, country. Which he not. can't. Which he can't do nothing about now. But don't get me wrong. Now I understand where you're coming from. He might be setting something up for when he's not president. You, you get what oh, I'm saying? He, he might be doing that. He's business. He's all business. You know, what, well, and everything. It's the same thing. You put in a bid. Maybe then the right person for a job is getting picked, but the one who's going to pocket the committee that's picking the fucking thing is going to get the job. No, yeah. yeah, true enough. But there's no work in Syria for us. Why? Why is the Americans there? There's no work there. For that's us. why he wants to take them out. Okay, that's right. He's going to take them out. Turkey's trying to go in there. Russia's trying to go in there. Everybody's fighting over this little bit of land. You get what I'm okay. saying? And the worst part about it is when this whole Syria thing started, I was mad at everybody because as far as I'm concerned, everybody's like, oh, the ISIS fighters there and they're killing and they're hurting everybody. Yeah. And then every country accepted refugees. Not saying it's a bad thing, but if everybody takes a, a little bit of everybody from that country, who's yeah. there to defend this country? What is this country left with? What, where, where's the culture? Where's the people? Where's the food? Where, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing mm -hmm. left. And now what's happening? Nobody's there. And everybody else is fighting over something that they, it's not theirs. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, Trump's like, it's not mine, so I'm leaving. You know what I mean? Russia shouldn't be there. Why is he there? Turkey got his own country. What the fuck he's going in there for? You get what I'm saying? So, and it sucks that the Syrian people didn't stay to fight for their own country. You get what I'm saying? To a yeah. certain degree. You, no, you know, right. you know like, don't get me wrong. Some people stayed and fought, and, you know, but, you know, I, I think they should have been better equipped and ready for something like that. You know what I, I mean? I was talking uh, to my pops about this. We're just like, you know, like, if they actually turned every vehicle into, let's say, like, uh, an electric car, there'd be less cause of war in general, right? Fighting for this oil and stuff down in the Middle East, too, wouldn't it? Yeah. No around the globe, yeah. You know what I mean? Even that alone, I, I and I get it. I get it, and it's sad to say. It absolutely is absolutely scary and sad to say that... Hey, wife. That <laughs> that people actually give a fuck about making money than you know, like individuals care about, like you were saying, the military and stuff over mm -hmm. saving people's fucking lives and the environment. I get that, but I mean, it would it would immediately if every car was fucking electric, immediately people were like, man, we don't need to fight for this. You know what I mean? It it would make a lot more sense though. I don't know. That was me and I were talking about. That. So then you mm -hmm. fight for the electricity. Yeah. Well, but there you go. Now, now, now you're saying you're fighting for electricity. You know. You heard of solar panels? The yeah. sun is free, bro. You get that's what I'm right. saying? It's always going to be electricity. You, you get what I'm saying? So how can you fight for something that's free? You, you get what I'm saying? And uh, and what's the the wind power is pretty good too, isn't it? Uh, same thing. You know? If it's, if it's, well, if there's wind, obviously. It but looks I mean, slow to me. No, that's just your brain. It, 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 it's slow. It, it is slow, but it's the rotations in the middle that's your brain. that generates. That's your brain. It's high speed. <laughs> hey, hey, wife, can you do me a favor? What's your wife up to? What's she saying? She cooking. She cooking. Uh, what are you making? You making something for dinner for lunch? Tell her to step her game oh, up. Okay. <laughs> Tell her to step her game up in food in the food department. Okay, can I get some uh, soda pop? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I had a question for both of you. Yeah, yeah, what up? Um, uh, I am here, Jim. Yep. This is fucking fantastic, bro. So if we don't have a baby crying or a dog barking, we have you talking to a wife now. Is this is this is this shooting the shit with others? Shooting the shit with everybody, kid. So yeah, so so I just like me, you know, me, you know, being in, in my late thirties and growing up and seeing a bunch of fucking parents and shit. I found that our generation, your people, or your age, everything. My people, so your, your people. Well, I don't know your people. Your people are just giving up kids, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, that was too easy. My bad. Um, yeah, you got problems. You got problems. Slow it down. All right, let's go. That's what I have, man. <laughs> Give me a pill. We'll be all right. Um, so, straight up, it's is it like, are, are, are parents these days fucking bubble wrapping their children? Uh, no. I'm, I'm no, you don't think so. So if you met a, let's say, like a 13, 14 year old today and compare them to the 14, 15 year old, 13, 14, 15 year old that you were, dude, they're bubble wrapped. They're not allowed to know. Dude, we used to take, we're, yeah, we had bus passes. We're all over the fucking city. You know what I mean? We were everywhere. We're going to the movies. Yeah, but that's the difference all between. Today. Most of them stay home. They yeah, online. They yeah, walking over the days because you miss the last bus. You know, most of them is online. You know, but now they it's like oh, you can't do this play date that. You know what I mean? Let's bubble wrap them. Let's tuck them in till their age of like till they grow facial hair. Well, you know? it, 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 I, I would say it's hard to bubble wrap them because you know a lot of the parents the economics change. So you know you got both parents working. So yeah, babysitter there. So, so what, the they're not they're not I don't, I don't. That makes they, sense. Let, they're not letting the kids out because if think about it, when we was running, I'm when we was, when our parents were working, we was running the fucking streets. You get what I'm saying? So we didn't have to come. Oh, mom, don't get home at eight thirty. Shit, we out to nine. No, we out. Mom, we don't care. Five, dude. But you know, regardless if your mother at home was was home or not, you needed to be inside. By the time the sun went down, yeah, it was it it was dark, you. dark, and then and then though, the other thing was, yo, pops, I'm gonna go do this thing, and he told me, you missed the last bus, walk. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, miss the last bus, walk. Go call me, and I'm like, all right, cool. Then you know we'd be tight, we'd be like, oh, we're gonna try and make the last bus, miss it, walk home, walk get home. a shit, yeah. get home late. But there wasn't no like, no, you can't call me, I'm gonna come pick you up, and him and him, dude. The kids today are not set up to live in society. No. Now, well, they ain't, they ain't ready for the drama when the drama happens. And when, when does the drama happen? Well, it don't happen anymore. It used to happen. It doesn't. It doesn't happen at work. You don't have drama at work. When you were an electrician, you didn't have those problems. Well, it sucked, right? Yeah. So you have a daughter. How old is she? My daughter's twenty-one. All right. Does she drive? Yeah, actually, but she ain't got no car. But she can drive. But she has the license. Yes. Okay. Finish high school? Yeah. University? College? No. No. Okay. Wait. She ain't mm. pregnant. She ain't got no kids. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're doing you a know. good job. You're a lesbian. No, no, no. It's still good. Still good. Still good. Still good. Still good. Still good. You can't watch, you sick pervert. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, where are you going with this shit, anyways? Okay, so I'm just saying. So, so many kids nowadays, when I was 16, I was on the door at the DMV or the oh, Ontario yeah. service fucking place. When I was 15, before I turned 16, please let me get my permit now so I can have it tomorrow morning. That's right. You know what I said? No, come back tomorrow morning. Ask me how many kids are doing that. None. Hey, I got a 16-year-old stepson. He hasn't even well, opened the goddamn fucking book. Well, you know why they're not doing it? I'm gonna tell you why they're not doing it. Oh, they just had, they just had six a, nine, they, not to. Nah, they just had a big car crash in Toronto. Two 13 year old kids oh, took their parents' the car parents. and just went joyriding, kid. And that's they why every care. kid decides to be like, I'm not gonna go they, to they don't care. They have no they have no consequences to their actions. They don't give a fuck. You know that. The <laughs> young kids nowadays. No consequences. We were. I, I remember getting picked up from our intermediate school mm -hmm. by someone. I won't mention names, and this one literally won't mention names. In the stolen vehicle, just because he wanted to give me a ride home. 
That's true. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You're my neighbor. Let's go. But I'm, I young, just think I, although the bus only took me 20 minutes to get home, the 10 minutes saved me. 140, I go, the 144 special. Yeah, I could go mm-hmm. home and watch X Men. <laughs> I just find I just find everything. Everything is just bubble wrapped, and and it's always oh I'm going to give them what I don't didn't have. But these people, all these people turned out well. They're good human beings, regardless of what they got as kids or didn't get. Right. I just find it's it's too. I look and I'm like Jesus Christ. Like when they the fuck. Spoiled. When the fuck do they get told? Because once they get out of, like, they leave mom and dad's house and they get told no, or life's a little hard, or their boss is being a dickhead. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's over, bro. Uh, the fuck you doing? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. The fuck you doing? Oh, my God. Carlos, right, the last time we're having him on here. <laughs> How about Chico? Chico? Yeah. At least Chico's on here somehow. <laughs> My ventilation systems. <laughs> oh fuck! This is the only right. fucking memo that fucking leaves. Oh, welcome yeah. back! Welcome back, Carter. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck! You can't get up and leave like that. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, but my wife's going to work. I had to give her a kiss goodbye. You should have got her face in there and got a nice snapshot of it. I'd be like, you know, I'll take a nice picture of it. You should have taken a picture on camera. Yeah. Get the viewerships up, you know? Oh, shit. You should have got the views up. The views actually went up when you got the fuck out of the picture. I was on the podcast. Check me out. So you're saying people are not bubble? They're not bubble wrapped? I think they're fully bubble wrapped. I think it's disgusting. I think no shit. They they they, They are a little soft, though. I think they are. Our generation has softened those kids up so disgustingly. So, listen, I, I people are told me I'm a little bit too hard. Yeah, he's been told that. A little bit too hard when it comes to expectations and uh, repercussions. Like well, if Jay, I say, I'm, they, if I take something away from them, don't even ask for it for another four months because you ain't getting it back. If I take away the game console, this guy it. doesn't even give away internet, bro. I, I I don't even know where the fuck the game console is. I give it back to them tonight so they can shut up. <laughs> I didn't even know where it was. <laughs> Pawn shop. <laughs> you sound vindictive. Bro. It was very. This is on a power trip. No, it's not a power trip, man. Power trip. <laughs> you can do anything. Give me your cell but phone. <laughs> how many times were you when we were kids that you wanted something, you needed to earn it? Yeah, we had to work in fucking jobs. Those shitty job jobs. The paper route. Man, what was your first job? John. Oh, shit. Bagging. Uh, bagging. Uh, oh, was shit. it rock collecting? Uh, Super C. Was, was, it? It, uh, was it Super C? Super C. I was uh, packing bags you and shit. Got a you, know? you guys have a uh, Super C down in New York? I, I, it, it was like a Super C. I'm trying to remember the name of the store. Oh. I can't remember the name of the store. But it's like a Super <laughs> C. Or, uh, it, was a, it was a job at a supermarket. A supermarket? Okay. Yeah, it was a supermarket, but um, what was this? What was the store in A and P? A and P. Yeah, yeah. It you was an A and P. Yeah, I guess it was an A and P. Yeah, I, I thought it just hit me. An A and P. Bags of shit. I want. I wanted the Puma track suit back in the day, see, so I had see, to. I had to pack some bags. To, I had to pack some bags to get it though. Yeah. You know? Now, if, if I recall, well, you were telling me a story that maybe someone that's close to you stole from an AMP or something like that one time. Ah, we ain't gonna go into that right now. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't make that phone call first, you know. It was still a funny story. Yeah, but it is a funny story for the simple fact that the way the situation is, it's how can you know when it comes to parenting back on that subject? Yeah, step your you're, game. You're, you're you're responsible for the kids for whatever they do. But then when you go to chastise them kids about what they did, yeah. you're not allowed to do it. Okay. You, you, now, you, you see the hypocrisy there? Yeah, I know. The big you, time. You know, it's, I was called to the place because someone did something. And I'm like, well, you know, you got a fucking problem when we leave here. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, you it had was, a fucking was, problem for saying that. <laughs> no, I, I, I got a, yeah, I got a problem for saying yeah. that, you know, because the person turned around and said, well, I'm feeling a little worried because... I'm going to get my ass whipped when I get home for doing the bullshit I did. Yeah. And the person tells me, well, you know, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> what the fuck you mean I'm not allowed to do that? You better you better take me now because I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? Because you know, your daughter's old enough now. Has there ever been a situation where you kind of gave her shit about something, but then for a flashback of a moment, you realize that 
shit, it wasn't half as bad as what I did <laughs> I've done in my life. Don't all, the all, all the time. All the time. Every time. Mm-hmm. Every time. Every everything she done was never half as bad as what I've done. You know and what I mean? Not, but because the parent in you comes out, but then the reality check of you is like, damn. It, well, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, it, it's been it's been many a times that I'm like, mm, shit, I need to call my mother and apologize for the shit I've done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. when you yeah, see yeah. it, you, do you understand it? Like. I was an asshole, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. just, and I'm and I'm mad at her for telling me go away. You know what I mean? <laughs> I used to cuss at my mother. She used to throw shit at me. You know what I mean? So yeah, those are the so days. Her sandals, the pot, oh, a knife, oh. cups. Right. I, I I got a story. We are talking about parents. Yeah, you know, we say Carlos is being mean. He's not as mean. He's not as mean as my as my stepfather, bro. <laughs> my stepfather. Yeah. You know, he did drugs. So later on in life, he had a seizure. So he's kind of paralyzed on the left side. Okay. Right. So he could still move around and get around. But in the house, if you go out the living room and make a left, mm-hmm. you walk right through into the kitchen and the refrigerator is right there. So when you open up the door to the refrigerator, it blocks the doorway. You, oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So as you're coming into the room. But it's a short turn. Like when you turn, boom, you walk right into the kitchen. So yeah. I'm getting up. I'm in a rush watching TV. I want to get back before the commercial. So I get up and run in the kitchen. He's got the door open. And the first thing you do when you run and you see something in your way, you put your hand up. And so I yeah. did that and I slammed the door on his on his face. So you took okay? him out. <laughs> oh, took him out. It wasn't the word. He was so motherfucking pissed because he was getting something to eat. This man slapped me in the face with two frozen francs, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> you motherfucker, pow! Hit me in the face with two fucking francs, and I cussed them out and shit, right? And I left the house. What the fuck's wrong with you? I get home. I sit down. I forget all about it, though. I sit down right next to him, and, like, he can't reach with his left, so he just flopped his body over on top of me and talk about, I ain't forget, motherfucker. I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, like, no. this man is half paralyzed and still wants to kick my ass. That's me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, classic, bro. And, and now, now that I talk about it, I'm missing. You know, that's just just because of it, shit like that, yeah. That is funny. You, you know what, Bam? Uh, the way I see it is, the beatings I used to get has taught me not to do it again. Hmm. Well, kids nowadays, they have no consequences because they don't get beat like they're supposed to. You know what I mean? No one wants to fucking get beat, so that prevents you from doing no, shit. No, but you know, it's not it's not a consequence. It's like, that's why I take away the video games, because I'm and, going... And, okay, can I ask you a question? Does that shit really fucking work, though? No, because uh, uh, I got the ex allowing them to play the video games. So, an excuse to go to Mama's, they're going to go play video games. I see, I see. So, it's a loose-loose situation. So, either way, the, so I have scared the shit out of my kids, Big time, and the best one that I have. Let's say I stopped to get gas one day. The kids were younger. Uh, we're on a road trip, a road trip. And if I would have left the kids in the car in the hot summer, uh, hot summer day, I would have gotten shit. So put it in the gas. Let's go, kids. Bring them into the store. They start asking me, "Can I get these uh, Kinder Eggs?" I said, "No. Am I going to pay three dollars at the gas store when I could go down the block, go to the dollar store, pay a dollar, dollar twenty-five?" So I said, no, I got a car wash. I'm like, we jump back in the car, go through the car wash, and I hear them fucking giggling, open up shit. And I'm like, what the <gasps> fuck are you guys opening up? They stole it. Uh, Criminals. Uh, Criminals. So then they finally showed blood, me. They, the got into, they got into the gang, blood in, blood out. <laughs> <that day. laughs> so after, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what? now I'm stuck. I can't even back up or go forward because now I'm waiting to get my car washed. And there's the cars behind me. Oh, yeah, that's right. So you're stuck. <laughs> I'm yeah, fucked. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I go on Bluetooth. I go on YouTube. Connect my phone to the, my Bluetooth. Go to YouTube. I Google or I YouTube police sirens. <laughs> Once those sirens went, I said, see, the guy in the, the store caught you. Now they call the cops. <laughs> that's good. Do you think my older children have ever fucking stole anything else? Not at least, not in my presence. Well, now they just don't giggle. No, <laughs> you know they won't. That's fucking hilarious. How old were they? Uh, I want to say eight and so they five. Them. That's crazy. Eight, eight and five. five. 
Yeah, but to me, I'm laughing hysterically. Yeah, but right? that's that's your day and age. Yes, My I day and age, I would have got better. fucked up in the car. Simple and plain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it would have been you put the car in yeah. park, and my my mama and daddy would have got in the back seat and fucked me up. You get that's what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. Right, hold on. If my dad would have ever busted me, he would have gotten me out if he's in the car wash. <laughs> he would have beat me outside the car while no, he was waiting for the car wash. I definitely believe that. I definitely believe that. So, so what else you got on your mind, kid? Hey, me? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck else I have on my mind. I've having a couple uh, dreams already. Exhausted as fuck. You know what I mean? Oh man, I wanted to uh, talk about that fucking shooting that happened. Or that shooting? Oh, that yeah, her name was like, what was it? A Tantiana Jefferson. That girl that got mm. shot. Got shot through her window by a police officer because she heard noises. The fuck's up with that? What the fuck is he doing back there? That's one. What is he doing back there? And if he would have got shot, you know. I'm not, I'm to do, charge her for murder. Do, you, do, shot you, him. Where, do you know where it took place? Was you know, it Texas? I, yeah, see, that's what I think it is. I think it was Dallas. I read something yeah. on the Dallas scenario. But the thing is with, with, with that is is like everyone has a gun in Texas, right? Pretty much. Just the way it is. So she hears a noise. She's playing video games with her eight year old nephew. Mm-hmm. You know, grabs her gun, boom, 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 sees someone, and then boom, gets fucking popped. And now the cop won't talk at all. Is that not crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. He's got to go to jail, no? Like, if you don't talk and defend yourself, like, what the fuck? He should be going to jail because the the, the reason why he's not talking because he's trying to figure out a way how to justify the fact that he's on. <laughs> he's trying to justify the fact that he was on her property. That's some, but, dude, it's like 2.30 in the morning, man. That, like I said, 2.30 in the morning. What is a yeah. cop doing on someone's property? He, he was checking her out. Maybe. Checking what? Checking what? Peeking through the blinds, be like, oh, what's that? What's and then he got busted, so he goes, shit. Yeah, he's like, I shoot, shoot away. Shoot, shoot, shoot the bitch now. You know, <laughs> so, I mean, underneath the bushes are, with we, we, I, I don't, I don't know the full story on, you know, what he was going back there. Maybe he was pursuing somebody, yeah. whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but yeah. It, it's, it's kind of weird still the fact that if you're pursuing somebody and you're in someone's backyard, the last thing you're going to think is they in someone's house. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You know? No, 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 so, no. I, I just I was reading up that shit today. I was just like, "What the fuck is up with that?" Like, like, and it showed like they actually showed glass with a bullet hole through it. So it's obviously like, she didn't even step outside. Like she was got shot in her actual fucking house. Like, she must have ratted right. on somebody, and this is payback. It was Takashi's girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. You guys have anything else you want to bring up, or open your mind, or express yourselves? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I just, I'm tired. I've been working too much. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, of course, man. Yeah, We've all been tired. We, we could have done this an hour ago if uh, Carlos would have fucking got a shit together. Listen, hey, did you take a picture of the, uh, the way it is? What's right? that? Did he, did he take a picture of the setup? Yeah, he took a picture of his mind. <laughs> but last time Joe and I recorded, we recorded in a totally different um, like thing. So everything was already connected from last time. No, we have used this one before. No, last time we recorded, we recorded on the H4. Yeah, but the time before that was on this. Yeah, and everything it was all I had to do was plug in the microphone. Uh, thing. Yeah, he he had to, he did leave all the connections in. As it, I said, last time we recorded with this, I said I don't want to deal with things. What's the deal, Bam? You're gonna get some gear and you're gonna start doing some interviews in Halifax or what? Definitely, I mean, you know what's going definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I'm gonna catch up with some of these people down here. I definitely want to see with some of these rappers. You know. So yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of speaking of rappers again. What's the deal with this number one guy here? You was, we was talking about Travis this Scott. Yes, he ain't fucking the Kardashian girl no more. The little one. Nah. Well, she's a billionaire. You don't want to hook up. Dude, your wife ain't there no more. <laughs> You're good. Nah, it, 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 What's the song? Want the, uh, highest want the highest in the room. Is that what the song is called? Carlos, mm. what's your thoughts about that one? Number one on the charts. So Joe says me the link to check out this fucking <laughs> song. So I play it. The only words I understood in that fucking song was I eat in the room. I eat in the room. I think I maybe understood something else, but otherwise, garbage. What do you mean? Number one, bro. Number one. What do you think, Bam? It's a pretty good song, right? <laughs> mm. Where do I start? 
I respect the fact that they're keeping hip hop alive. I do. I respect that. I give him. Okay, that. okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. It's like it's like okay. it's like watching an old athlete playing till he's fifty, and you respect that he's trying to keep the game, but he's just not good at it no more. So no, you I, 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 respect, I respect he's keeping it alive. Think, but you know, like Motown is sick music. Motown's amazing, but Motown still really isn't around. But you respect it, and there's classics. But, but here's the thing. Yeah, it's exactly it. like I said, lyrical, lyric, lyrically, whatever his lyrics is about, so on and so on. It went over my head. Maybe I'm too old, went over my head. I, you know, if he's that lyrical to make his lyrics go over my head, then he's a fucking great artist. You understand what I'm saying? But if he didn't put that effort in to make them lyrics go over my head, it's the worst song ever. You, you get what I'm saying? So I, 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 I'm, I'm I just I'm know. curious. I'm just I'm 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 the that's one my, who that's I'm my just trying to understand. Um what about Lizzo? Lizzo. Oh, 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 oh. Lizzo the tank. You guys lost me because I don't know this person. You don't know Lizzo the tank? Google that. Lizzo's an offensive lineman. Oh. <laughs> I think you're talking the Minnesota about the Vikings. I think you're talking wow. about. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. He is the I'll, singer. I'll, 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 let, I'll let you take that one on. Okay. No. Um, Mm. Lizzo, she puts the e in eating. <laughs> right now, right Lizzo's now, a fucking girl. I, 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 I think, I think she's on the girl power trip. She's, she's, on, the girl, she's on girl power. In single? No, no, you have no option, bitch. No one's dating you. You, you are single. <laughs> you don't put the sing in single. No, you are single. <laughs> You're single. Uh, I'm not a me myself person. You I'm put not a the big buff fan. and buffet. That's it. You, you know, know? No. I'm, I'm not a big fan of her. I'm not a big fan of her. I was you know? like, as long uh, as she can sing, I don't give a fuck she what she looks sing. like. She's a t no, you're right. No, all, I'm an asshole. All, you know, all, all, all the all the all the women are feeling her. They just feel they feeling her and they feeling her tracks. All the girls. Do you think reason. that they played their tracks at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's whack. The shit's whack. I don't give a fuck. I never heard a song, so I can't comment on it. Like truth, truth, the truth, or some shit. I don't yeah, know. She got, a, she got a couple. She got a new one out too. Supposedly, yeah, I haven't heard it yet. One. But there's another one. You know, so. What is your boy? Little, little Nas X has another track called like Panini or something. You should listen to it. <laughs> you should. It's not country. Like you'd like it. I think. I think you like it. You know, don't I like country. It. Don't be, don't be messing with the country. I like country. You know that. You know, I'm going to tell, um, tell, tell you as a super, super, a guy that criticizes shit to death, which is me. The reason why I'm not the hugest fan of Old Town Road, Old Town Road, and the reason why I don't think it should be number one, I don't even think it's a completed track. You don't think it's so? under three minutes? It's so short. It, it has, I think, one verse and a hook. Like it, it's <laughs> you and I can do. It. It's like us doing a song. Like fuck it, let's just put it out there. I heard, it's a, not long, finished. I heard it's, a long time ago. You need two verses. In order for it to be considered a song, it's fucking short, and it's like, well, really, you couldn't really fuck that up with that being that short. You know what I mean? I don't know. It bugs the shit out of me. It, that's the thing. When you criticize songs, it's like, gonna make it a song before you become like number one. Like the guys, like, like I made a, a shitload of money on one hit. Like, does a guy with one hit, one hit like that, does he only do like feature performances with that one song, or does he do a concert of that song and a bunch of other shit that no one knows? Like, what do you do in that situation? Uh, honestly, I don't know if he got the material to do That's a my full point. show. The thing is, do, 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 like, does he? Like, could he? Could he go and like? On, he can't go on the road, right? He can't go. He can't go. He has to do special appearances for that for that one track. No, I, I'm assuming so. Well, nobody's going to hire you for one fucking song. You, you, you know what I mean? You know what talk, like, shows. Oh, talk shows. I'm, 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 that's the thing. It's like, it's like, how about I get you on and I'm going to get you on tour, but no one's going to know the rest of your shit. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, you know, once you perform that one song, everyone's gonna erupt. I don't, I don't get that. I, no, I went to the Vanilla Ice concert, but next, uh, all the other shit that he ever got hired for was for Ice Ice Baby, especially in his appearances on television. There were movies. Was you only heard that one track, Ice Ice Baby? I don't know. For I me, for know. me, you need more than one hit to become to, to even go on tour, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever, that, man. That's what I think. And you need more content. And he probably do. He probably had more songs. People know. Well, yes, I mean, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you, if you follow him, then you probably know his tracks, right? He, he you gotta check out the Panini song. Panini, it's on the it's on the track. It's gonna climb up. It's gonna be Travis Scott. He's gonna be the highest on the chart. Well, mm -hmm. Travis is the highest in the room. I think it's pulling your leg with the Panini. I'm fucking telling you, check it. 
There's an actual song called Benini. I'm not fucking making it up. I thought you were talking about Benini, like grab his hammer. No, <laughs> no man. No. no, he's actually, it's like top 20 right now. Yeah, Benini. Benini, oh, he's up crazy. there. Now he's Italian. He was a cowboy, now he's Italian. All right. <laughs> Anyways, so from now on, man, we are, we're going to get together every once in a while, but we're going to have <laughs> interviews now. We're going to have interviews. We're set up. Zoom 4, GoPro. I'm lining up some interviews. Nice, nice. Damn to get set up. He's gonna set up some interviews down there. Mm-hmm. Probably package it up all in one person. Carlos will be setting up his computer, doing absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. He fucking broke a world record, and his computer didn't black out today. Fuck. You know what I mean? That's good. So, That's true. <laughs> it's never too late. It's never too late. So we gotta wrap this so up. You understand? Oh, here says, we go. He's pushing it now. Here we go. There's a possibility you be not. You have to get logged back into Facebook. That's all. All right, see, he's pushing it. He's pushing it. He wants the blackout to happen, this motherfucker. You know what I mean? But we got to tell everyone, we had all the videos on www.shootingtheshitpodcast.com. All our videos are there. We have some light up. We're on Podbeam. And on Podbeam, all our fucking videos are there. All the audios. Download them so you don't have to fucking stream it through your fucking data. At the end of this video, I'm actually going to put all some links and all the stuff and footage of like all the stuff we talked about. So if people want to, you know, go in more into depth like with you know Takashi Six Nine, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I'm gonna put the links underneath it so they can check that shit out. That's a new conspiracy theory. What is? Takashi or Six Nine? Man, that's your boy from Mexico, man. He's I'm your, a Mexican. He, fuck, you're close enough, but that's as good as it gets for you, bro. No more fucking Enrique Iglesias. Boom! Here comes Takashi Six Nine. Yeah, getting kicked out by Trump. Mucho burrito, bro. It's coming I near you. Support him. It's coming near you, bro. Subscribe. Subscribe on fucking YouTube. It's easy. Subscribe. We put the new video. You don't have to follow us. You don't have to be lazy. Boom, it pops right the fuck up. Subscribe on YouTube. Um, Again, message us. Bam, let people know, man. Are you man. playing with your panini there? Yeah, are you, are you paninying your panini? Or <laughs> Show us. <laughs> Bam, let those motherfuckers know. If there's anybody you want to interview, anybody that you need us, if there's anybody out there that has some sort of opinion or watch some of our videos and disagree with some of the shit we say, speak up, speak up, speak up. We'll know. send them the link. So let them know. Let them know, right, homie? All right, boys. I'm out. All right. Nice shooting the shit, you guys, man. Peace. Definitely one. Later. Out. Who said that? Come on, man. <laughs>